To access Canva's free online video editor, log in to your Canva account and in the search bar provided, type in video. Click on the video option that pops up, which is the exact dimensions of a YouTube video. If you want to edit videos in Canva instead for Instagram or TikTok, in the search bar over here, type in TikTok or Instagram Reels instead. And then click on the appropriate option. I'm going to head back to the video option and click on that. Canva will provide you with hundreds of editable, high-quality templates that make it simple to create a memorable video for any purpose. Feel free to select any of those or to click on Create a Blank Video instead if you're starting from scratch. Once the Canva video editor opens up, there are a number of things you can do. You can upload your own videos to Canva by clicking on Uploads from the left-hand side panel, Upload Files, and then choosing the files of your choice. Or, if you wish, you can scroll down and click on this video section from the left-hand side panel and drag and drop onto your design one of Canva's free videos. If we click on Design from the left-hand side panel, we can use the Canva Video AI to generate videos instantly by uploading media and typing a short description to generate videos with music already synced. Let me show you how this worked by clicking on this right now. In order for this to work, you need to select at least three files to add to your video and a maximum of 10 files. You can either select one of the files you've already uploaded to Canva or click on this cloud icon over here to upload new video files to your design. I'm going to select these three first videos over here and then click on Open. This Canva AI feature is a Canva Pro exclusive feature, which you can try out for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. While your video media is being uploaded, you can type in the space provided the kind of video you want. Canva will then use this to generate a design for you. Let's say we want to create a video to promote the benefits of working from home. So let's go ahead and type in that. Once the video media files have been uploaded and you've described the kind of video you want, go ahead and click on Generate on the bottom right-hand side. Canva will now generate the video for you. As you can see, not only has it added the three video files that I uploaded, but has also added captions and transitions between each page in addition to music. Let's go ahead and click on play up top to see what this video created with a Canva video editor looks like. Pretty awesome, right? Just like with any regular Canva design, you can make edits to what these additional elements look like. For example, let's click on this caption over here on effects up top and change the background color from red to green, for example. We can also click on typewriter from the white panel up top to change the animation, make sure that text animations is selected, and then change the animation from typewriter, which is what it's currently set as, to ascend or shift. We can also change the speed to make it slower or faster, the writing style, word, character, or line, let's set it as word, and the direction, left, right, top, or bottom. Let's select right. If you wish, you can also reverse the exit animation. When we click between two videos, we can edit the transitions that are added to the Canva video. This transition can be none, dissolve, slide, circle wipe, Color Wipe, Line Wipe, Match and Move, Flow, Stack, or Chop. Depending on the transition you choose to add between two pages, such as Dissolve, the elements that you can edit for that video transition will vary. For Dissolve, it's just Duration, whereas for Slide, you can set both the duration and direction. You can also apply the same transition within your Canva video to all pages 
or set a different transition between each video page. If we scroll down over here to where the music is selected, we can toggle what section of the music we want to add to our Canva video by literally just dragging and dropping these handles over here. If you prefer, you can use these audio effect options from the white panel up top to make edits. Audio effects include fade in and fade out. You can click on adjust to change the section of the music that you want to add to your Canva video. And you can click on beat sync to sync your pages and elements automatically to the music. Let's go ahead and turn that on and see what happens. As you can see, everything is synced to the beat. Let's now click on preview to view these changes in action. Awesome. Now, if we click on any video at large, we can make edits to it from the white panel up top. Under edit video, you can add effects to your video, including the option to remove the background of your video, as well as add filters. You can also click on adjust to edit the white balance, light, color, and texture of the video you added to Canva. Under trim, you can select which part of the video you want to add and make that clip longer or shorter. Under playback, you can change the video speed by either speeding it up or by making it go slower. If you wish, you can also toggle to play the video on repeat or not and have it play automatically or not. Another amazing feature of the Canva Online Video Editor is the ability to add a voiceover to your video. To do so, click on Uploads from the left-hand side panel and then on Record Yourself. You'll need to allow permissions so that Canva can access your camera, as well as your microphone. Once you have set those, your image will appear at the bottom. You can click on Filters and Effects to add a filter to your image, as well as an effect such as skin smoothing, as well as the intensity of that, change the shape from circle to rectangle, mirror the camera, and turn the camera off or on. You can also click on these arrows over here at the bottom to reposition where you're placed within the Canva video. Let's place myself on the top right hand side. You can change this position for each of your pages. Say on the second page, I want to be on the bottom right hand side. And on this last page, I want to be on the top left hand side. Let's head back to the first page and then click on record to start our video recording in Canva. A countdown will appear and you'll be good to go. Working from home has its perks. No commute and more time for yourself. Once you're done recording, click on Done. As you can see, when the recording was in progress, there was a red line around my face, and when it was done, that red line disappeared. Once you're happy with your voiceover recording, click on Save and Exit on the top right-hand side. Let's click on the Preview button up top once more to view how this video we're editing in Canva is looking like. Working from home has its perks. No commute, and more time for yourself. Amazing, right? Just like with any regular Canva design, you can click on these options from the left-hand side panel, such as elements, text, draw, projects, and more apps to add additional elements to your design. Once you're happy with how your Canva video is looking like with the edits you've made, make sure to rename your design up top and then click on Share on the top right-hand side. Click on Download. Make sure that the file type is set to MP4 video. All the pages you wish are selected. And then click on Download again to save the video that you edited in Canva to your computer.